Okay, so no problems at all. If you're like me, who has limited amount of space and you make videos all the time, look at this, 28.8 and over here is 5.40. File size of one video file that we took, this one is around 1.65 and after we encoded it, it went to 367 and the quality is still good as you can see right here. This is the original file, it will overlap with the encoded one, there it goes, encoded one, it's all good, so yeah. <clears throat> hey guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is in your place right now, I hope that you're having a good one. So anyways, welcome to the video, today's video is going to be about me teaching you guys how to encode your video so that you will be able to resize them to save more space on your hard drives. I mean, if you're like me, that hoards a lot of videos, especially if you're kind of like a filmmaker or just a guy who wants to save memories for future, you know, viewing and stuff, this video is for you. So let's get onto it, go to the computer and start. Hey guys, so as you can see right here, I have my GoPro folder and the size of this folder is around 28.8 gig. There are a lot of video files inside. This one is around 609 MB. This one, 3.72 gigabytes, 1.98. So yeah, it's a whole lot of space being eaten. These files right here are like most likely not going to be used anymore. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up our favorite browser and then type in Handbrake. There it goes. And then click this one right here. And then click here, download the Handbrake. I already installed Handbrake, as you can see it says Handbrake is already installed, so I don't really need to install it. So if you're done with the installation, all you have to do is just open it up, type in Handbrake right here, and then it will open. As you can see it says here, source selection, choose the videos you'd like to encode, you can choose a whole folder or a file. So with this, I am planning on encoding the whole folder right here. I'm going to go here, select folder, and then select the folder that I'm going to encode. It says here 100 GoPro. Here it is right here. I'm going to select it. And right now it's scanning all of the files inside, 87. All you have to do next is wait until all of these are scanned. So after the scanning, what we're going to do next is go here to add the queue, go to this drop down button, and then click add all. Oh, so it says here you must first set the destination path for the output file before adding to the queue. Let's go here to the tools, preferences, go to output files, the default path, browse, go to handbrake or whatever folder you want the output to be, select folder. Check here, automatically name output files. Check, I usually just put this on mp4, go back, do the same method again, add to queue, add all. I don't know why the error is showing up, like, you know, guess. Uh, wait so as you can see the queue right here states that there are actually 86 more files to be encoded so what we're going to do next is try to fix all the settings right here set them up and then click start queue so I already have my settings right here that I got from one of the websites online and I'm going to show you guys what it looks like so for summary this is what I got format is mp4 Go to dimensions, these are the settings in the dimensions. Go to filters, these are the settings on the filters. Go to video, these are the settings that I got. Go to audio, these are the settings that I got. Subtitles, chapters, well, I don't really touch anything from here. So over here, as you can see, it says encoder preset. So from my knowledge, over here, you can like set it placebo, very low, slow, ultra fast. If you set this on a very slow pace, the video file will be a lot smaller compared to setting it to ultra fast. Like, you know, very slow is obviously very slow. So for me, I just put it at around slow or medium and then let it run overnight so when i wake up it is okay and over here in the constant quality i usually put it at 22 23 around that like let's stick to 22 and the video codec this is what i actually read is the best for now i don't know if there are better ones out there if you know something please comment down below so that we would be educated over here as you can see it says frame rate so the settings that I use here are usually same as source because 
the videos right here have different frame rates i mean some of these are in slow-mo some are in ultra slow-mo or like you know 240 fps some are at 120 some are at 60 some are at 24 so yeah i don't really want to change it because i may be using them in the future as slow-mo so yeah let's click at the same as source i guess that's it all we have to do next is click start queue and then as you can see right here it says preparing to encode and now it's encoding okay so this will take a very long time as you can see it says here 85 pending jobs so what i'm going to do is i will leave it running for the whole night and then check it out in the morning hopefully nothing happens to the process so yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow and we'll see how much difference will it make right now it's at 28.8 we'll see you tomorrow the next day so it is now morning and as you can see right here the queue has been finished so what we're going to do is we're going to open up the folder where the output went so let's go to documents or wherever your files went we're going to compare how much is the size of this whoa so this is around 5 gig while this one still 28.8 as you can see there is a huge difference well like it's 87 this one's 86 as you can see it missed one file i will do that later by myself okay so right now we are going to compare the two files if how the quality goes so i will choose a video file right here that has a huge file so i guess it's this one 676 it is around 1.65 gig finding it over here with a converted one 676 this one has 367 only so what we're going to do is we're going to click this pause it drag it there open this with a different player pause it leave it there so let's start the video In three two one we'll see the difference so for me um there is slight difference within the colors this one right here is a little bit of magenta, I think. And this one looks better. How about we go full screen? This one here is the original file. This one here is the encoded one. Original, encoded. Let's see? Can you see the difference? Original, encoded. Original, encoded. Yeah, there isn't much of a quality loss, but the file size that has been reduced is a lot i mean as you can see right here it says 1.65 gig and over here it says 367 so that is huge right now we are going to test out if it works with premiere i'm sorry if my voice like this it's kind of hoarse it's because you know just woke up okay so right now premiere has been opened what we're going to do next is drag in the original file which consists of around 1.65 gig drag it in and drag in the second file which has 367 as you can see right there the wavelength everything it's perfect let's change the color of this mango there it goes okay so as you can see right here we have both of our files in the timeline this is the original one and the orange one is the one that has been converted and has a smaller file in case you want to like open them up and then try to edit those files again we'll see if it works and if the quality still remains true to how it was before Okay, so I'll try to like make a few cuts and then save the file so we'll see if we can manage to like you know spot the difference in the output so delete there it goes so right now let's try to distinguish how it looks like when two files overlap so let's go over here it's the original one it goes into the encoded one we can't really see anything that happened there so from the encoded one let's try to switch to the original one yep no change over here one more still no change you can't even distinguish it i mean pretty much the same so let's try saving it if it works there it goes go to file export media handbrake and test okay save go to export and wait for this to finish okay so as you can see right here it is now finished what we're going to do next is we are going to check the output there it goes i'm pretty sure that the first um overlap is around here yep in this area right here we're going to see if it changed so no problems at all 
Okay, the second one is about to happen. Around here. Yep, still no problems at all. Yep, so there it goes. All good. Third one right here. Okay, so no problems at all. That's it for today's video. Even though we encoded and resized the video by a whole lot, as you can see right here, 1.65, 367, we were still able to maintain the quality of the video in case we want to use them in the future. If you're like me who has like limited amount of space and you make videos all the time, look at this, 28.8 and over here is 5.40 file size of one video file that we took this one is around 1.65 and after we encoded it it went to 367 and the quality is still good as you can see right here this is the original file it will overlap with the encoded one there it goes encoded one it's all good so yeah that's it for today's video then if you like this video if you learned something if you're like me who wants to save space on their hard drives and do this method and you won't regret it don't forget to like this video subscribe all the good stuff notification bell and i'll see you guys in the next video as always don't hate appreciate thanks for watching peace